shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So at the right hand of the Lord, there are pleasures forevermore. So we can look at the earth today and there are still, even though this devil has destroyed and ruined the earth and polluted the world, polluted the air, polluted the waters, polluted the food and the people and everything, and the earth itself, there are still places on earth that are so breathtaking and so beautiful, even though it's still tainted, but it's just so beautiful to look at. You know, being there can probably take off you know, or bring you back five, ten years, make you five or ten years younger, 15, 20 years younger, just by the presence, the aura of that place. So just imagine how much greater the kingdom is going to be when the Most High has on his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. You know, imagine how much greater, how much more beautiful the kingdom of heaven is going to be once it's established. You know, and these are things that we have to keep in mind because this is what we're fighting for.